And I actually started my diplomatic career in 1991, and that coincided uh, with the independence of the Republic of Moldova. Uh, so doing it in parallel with the development and progress of your own uh, country is a very big pride and a very big joy, but also a very big commitment and responsibility uh, that all of us diplomats in the Moldovan Foreign Service are absolutely ready to manifest when it goes about our country and um, supporting and promoting its national interests. Sometimes the choices are made in favor of profession and in favor of your professional duties instead of taking care more about your own family and of the ones uh, whom you love very much in life. But it's also very rewarding to see that uh, those whom you love in life, uh, who are <clears throat> part of who you are, support and understand you. And if you have this feeling, if you have this uh, encouragement on a daily basis, only in such case you can perform your professional duties uh, with uh, maximum result and maximum success. I was very fortunate throughout my whole life that I had this support and encouragement and I very much want to see other ladies, other women in the Republic of Moldova benefiting from the same attitude from their respective families. And <clears throat> in case we will cultivate and promote this attitude and more and more women in Moldova would enter into diplomacy, into politics, into professional business life, Moldova will be a much more successful and prosperous country. I'm absolutely sure that when there are women negotiating on the opposing sides, the atmosphere at the negotiating table is much better and much constructive. And the chances for success are much higher. I saw it uh, during my professional career, and I would very much advocate for more and more ladies uh, to be brought into diplomacy. The gender equality empowerment, particularly of young women, uh, is uh, a recipe for success in absolutely all professional fields of activity, including in uh, diplomacy. More, more ladies participating, more ladies contributing to the success of the uh, common objective will bring better chances to achieve it, and I'm absolutely confident of that. This is the best field for ladies to be involved into that gives you possibility to manifest yourself, all your qualities, all your best um, characteristics, your education, your background. Uh, um, but it also makes our role in the society quite visible, because diplomacy is a very visible field, both inside and outside your own country. And you feel part of something very important at absolutely all historical periods of time, you feel part of a bigger effort to make your country better, to make your country more developed, more successful, more prosperous. And while you speak about your own country, you think about its people, and you think about children and grandchildren of your current generation. So you contribute to the advance and progress of your country, your society, you feel part of the huge effort of a huge process and for a woman to feel, identify and understand yourself part of an important um, process is just as important as to have peace and harmony in uh, a woman's own family. So trying to combine the two is possible in diplomacy. And I would very much advise uh, young ladies of Moldova to choose this profession. It's worth it.